What is up everyone and welcome back to more Persona 5. The last episode was just this massive like roller coaster of emotions and it started with just like BAM this is happening and yeah get used to it. So basically Suzui jumped um I don't know how high up she was but um she jumped anyway off the school building and Anne is currently with her. Kamoshida thinks that she's probably never going to come out of her coma so in that respect she can never tell you know anyone what happened except she did manage to tell Anne right before um, she slipped into a coma so whether or not people would believe Anne I don't know all I know is that this story is it's getting crazy mm. I'm all for teaching you how to make infiltration tools but you should really clean your room first oh. I'm surprised you can even live here. I mean, I wanted to clean up. Yeah, that's my stuff. I still haven't actually like cleaned up or decluttered or anything. I'm sure Morgana's gonna make me feel super bad about it. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Keep it together, all right? Sleep. It's like the calm before the storm, you know, when you go to bed and everything is great. Oh, there's no school on a Saturday, is there? In Japan? There shouldn't be. That'd be a bit weird. Oh. Even if it's crowded, looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky enough. Dum, ding, ding. Hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some ta uh, downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. I mean, we could have a little conversation about what we're gonna do. We're taking Kamoshida down. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? That's cool. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? What should I do? Am I gonna die? Calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? Um. I know, like, okay, I'm not judging, but she wasn't dressed like a doctor. That's not what's important here, though she did have an interesting fashion sense. Anyway, it might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. That's a good shout, actually. It's a good shout. There's school on a Saturday? Oh, I am sorry, but I am mind blown right now. Uh, hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now, we're in class. Whoa! You mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it is really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. I'll be waiting, just come up once school's over. I'm gonna find you if you're late. <laughs> oh! Pay attention! Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just texting. I feel a murderous intent. That is abuse! I look like it hurt. He just threw chalk at me! He hit him right in the forehead! <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> That's what you get for daydreaming. That is abuse! Kids these days have no respect for their elders. You have no respect for me! Kid grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. I mean, I could have dodged it. I got reflexes, man. That was some straight up BS. 
It's a Saturday for one. Who the hell goes to school on a Saturday? Yo, I've been waiting. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on. It's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Now then. Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. In that persona shit, we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. Hey. You talking about weapons? I know a kick-ass place. Okay. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable, <laughs> unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady Anne. Now then, Steve and I have some business to, uh, in Yogan, sorry. So let's head off for the day. Uh, what business? Let's go. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. That's because you a cat. You a cat. I've got a good idea. Okay. Remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? What is with that guy? Oh my god. The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination. She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. That's just a rumor. <laughs> Why? I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. No. Oh. Yes. Everyone, I am talking to a cat. Okay, so I bet she's in the coffee shop again. What do we think? Looks like he's not at the store yet. Seriously, what time does he work? Like, is he a part-timer? Did you want to listen in? A postcard was sent in asking us, what's the cause of all these accidents? Some people are saying it has to be some kind of curse. I get the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. Hogwash. That's all happened because those people didn't take good enough care of themselves. I don't know about that, to be honest. Really don't know about that. I'm sorry, but I'm still sitting here like, who the heck goes to school on a Saturday? Jeez Louise. Okay, so we have secondhand shop, do you know? Have to get rid of this TV. It'd be better if I could just sell this instead of throwing it away. But who would buy such an outdated TV in this day and age? Hey. We can always come back here later. We need to find that clinic. Well, I wanted the TV! Alright. I feel like it's gonna be this thing here. Ha! Okay. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? So we go in. Here's my plan, right? It's ingenious. We go in, fall on the floor, cry out in agony, and then when they start throwing the pills at us, we leg it with the pills. No, I haven't done this before. Uh, we'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Okay, I need tea! Mm-hmm. Oh. Is this your first visit? I don't know why I gave her a salt tree. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. Well, whatever. So what are you here for today? My body feels lethargic. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Or I am straight up dying. Fine. Please head to the exam room. Oh my god. This is amazing. Really? In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Mm. Actually, I still need to restock those. 
So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting or a bitter one? I want painkillers. Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year-long supply of them too. Yes, I do. What does this mean? You're not as you're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. Oh, you think you look dumb? Well, that's that's not very nice, is it? I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, huh? <laughs> are they true? Here's to say, but as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. Really? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication! Yeah, boy. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest. Earnest? And you don't look like you'll be any trouble. Is it because of the glazes? This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So if that's okay with you, stop by any time. I mean, she is giving me like a year long, isn't she? You're a bad doctor. <laughs> Great! It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're gonna use the medicine for. <laughs> you're such a bad doctor! Oh my god! That's fine. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. <laughs> that would not happen, ever. This is all I've got right now. Okay. Which one? Oh, hey girl. Okay, I have like a decent amount of yen. Um, fast acting formula restores 100 HP. I have to learn all the names of these. I am so used to playing Final Fantasy games where I know it's like potion, phoenix down, antidote, <laughs> eye drops and all of that. Whereas this is like all new to me. So what is a healing IV? Okay. Oof, that's expensive, but do you want that one? I do want that one. Here you go. Um Okay. So relax gel is for confusion. Alert is for sleep and dizzy. Burn, freeze, freeze, <laughs> and shock. Uh, let's get one of these. Um, you want that one? Here I you do go. want that one. Thank you. And I'll get one of these. Thanks. And now I'm broke. Take care. Thank you. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Uh oh. What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stomach ache, athlete's foot, whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Uh oh. You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. What's going on in there? I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't be messing with her, she gives me the good stuff. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it can give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. <laughs> quack! <laughs> the police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up. Are you threatening me? You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <laughs> Tisk. What's with the look? That was your mistake, was it not? 
I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. Oh, what? The name Tai Takemi will never... Hey, is somebody there? No. I'll leave her alone. Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. Sounded like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? Yes. I agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at the palace. Alright, let's come back when the man isn't here. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the phantom thieves a secret, okay? Okay. Anyways, great work. That went really well. You know there's a shop in Shibuya that sells model guns. I'd be glad to take you there if you want. Sweet! Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station. Oh, don't make me maneuver, please! Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. Well, see you in Shibuya, Steve. I'll be in front of the station. I see. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff in this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, he did say tomorrow. I was like, what? Why are we gonna leave? Like... Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take out on the palace. That's where the real fun starts. Got it? Ooh, I'm excited. Can I go downstairs? Hey. I'm being told what to do by a cat? Okay. So don't oversleep. So all this time, I thought Morgana was a girl. And then as soon as Anne came into the picture, I soon realized that Morgana is a boy. I think it's because Morgan can be a girl or a boy's name. So it's, and Morgana so. sounds like the female version, you know? So it was a bit strange to me. Looks like you made it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get going, the shop's over this way. I love his jacket, oh my God, it's so cool. Right, I'm going. Please, consider what I have to say. Uh-oh, everyone wake up. This country is twisted. This politician is actually saying some decent things, but not many people are stopping to listen. Hey. People give speeches all the time, plus politics are pretty boring anyways. We're almost there, just don't get lost in the crowd. Uh, I love junk food too! Me too, but I don't eat it that often. Usually on my days off I have like a shiz ton of junk food. Let's go. Okay, I'm following you. Oh my god. Morgana in my bag is the cutest thing ever. Serious. Is this it? Pretty legit, huh? I mean... Oh yeah, now that we're here, you know anything about military stuff? I guess worse comes to worse, we can just ask the shopkeep what they recommend. Let's go. I want Haribo and oh! It's not a sweetie shop? <laughs> I knew that. All right. All the stuff in here looks so real. I don't know what I like best. Maybe we should try asking the guy behind the counter. And man, who'd have thunk model guns would shoot real bullets in that palace? Okay. I want a gas mask. You know what you want yet? You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Some customer service. Hmm. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Hmm? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars? <laughs> Listen, this here is an enthusiastic, sh an enthusiast shop. My regulars would be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. What? I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Huh. 
Can't remember you. You bastard. <laughs> um, something that looks real. Oh, you guys planning a nice bank robbery or something? Whoa. Uh, that ain't it. We just like how the look is all. <sighs> Anyways, you should have said before that you're too enthusiast. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh. And don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need that coming around here. We hate the cops. That right. Look. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell they're models. Real guns feel different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner section. Just sit tight, I'll bring him out. We did it, dude! <laughs> we to uh, totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? I want him to shine. Yeah. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Wait, why do I have to... Where are you going? Huh? Is he leaving? Okay, so... We're finally getting into this game. I feel like I've been playing it for like seven or eight hours and we've not even like scratched the surface just yet. Okay, so what is a protector? Right. Sounds good. Like what? Oh, okay, so for defense. Stuff is expensive. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should just buy. So it's a two four. That's what you're choosing. That's what I'm choosing. Oh shoot! I should have equipped that. Um. All right. Okay. Which one? Hmm, that one. You better not use it to pull a prank. <laughs> I do what I want. So that. Oh, okay. I get it. That's really nice, actually. So when you equip something else, it automatically allows you to sell the old one so that you don't have just a bunch of stuff sitting there, you know? Okay. So I have no treasure. Is that my old weapon? The knife? Come again. All right, sweet. They got all sorts of shit here, don't they? All right, let's get out of here. Hmm? You going home already? Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Get me the strongest looking one. Perfect. You here? Boss, did you hear? Oh, no, no, hold on. Uh. I pressed the wrong button. Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. Are you talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? I really need to, you know what? Um, hold on, what am I doing? <gasps> that just fast forwarded that. Oh my God, stop, stop. Oh, I wanted to go to my bloody menu. That's so annoying. Okay, hold on a minute. Um. Yeah, I heard it completely alters your person. What? Really? You're talking about that psychotic whatever people are going on about. I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying that the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. There's no way a preposterous story like that could be true. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon, so get out, basically. How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee is actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting this sorry state of this store. <laughs> He's a regular though. Thanks for stopping in, please come again. I only say this out of politeness, but thanks for the coffee. Sheesh, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. How's business? You treat Patreons like that, okay. Um, 
How are you still open? <laughs> it's all good. Long as the shove doesn't fail, I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Okay. But what if it does fail? Who knows, maybe I'll end up living out on the street. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it, but I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. <sighs> I feel really bad for him, like I want to know more of his story because he seems really depressed, you know? And I just want to know why. I feel bad for him. So I went to see Shiho in the hospital. Her condition is- oh that's good! Oh, that's not so good. Yeah. She'll get better, I know it. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's gonna pay for what he did, no matter what. Okay. We're just about ready to go to the palace! I'm excited! We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Oh, about bloody time. Right, first of all, uh, I want to go into the menu and... What will it be? Config, do we think? Dialogue voices. Auto advance. So let's turn that off. So I think that was... I think that's what I wanted. Okay, let's clean this. Hey. Hey. Wait, not that. What do you want from me? Oh, that's my work desk? I could barely even see. not in the mood. We'll okay. do it tomorrow. Now you can make things whenever you want. Ooh. Oh, I want to do that. That's cool. Well, Try making a lock pick. You can make infiltration tools. These can be beneficial when exploring palaces, so be sure to try them out. Materials can be collected from defeating shadows in palaces and from shops in town. Try visiting different shops to see what items are in stock. Making tools will cause time to pass, but it will improve your proficiency. As proficiency grows, the amount of infiltration tools you can make at a time will increase. Ooh. Don't think too hard about it, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, I'm stressed. There's so many like different things. Okay, so I got nothing of that. No. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well. What are your thoughts? Uh, we did it. I got a lockpick. Hey. We should be able to use yeah. this. Point up. Oh yeah, for my proficiency. All right. All right. Okay. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. I'm excited. So there's been a lot to learn in this first half an hour of this episode. But revenge needs planning. And it's going to be sweet. Hey. Good morning. Come on. Hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Good morning, Kamoshida. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. I ain't getting expelled, Kamoshida. Just you wait. Susie's coming for you. Or Steve. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit with chalk again. So I saw Kamoshida at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with this shit-eating grin on his face. Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. 
Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Just wanna like delve into this game, you know? Okay. Okay, it's finally time to set the plan in motion. Yes, I go to school with a cat in my bag, okay? I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave you, leave the planning to you. Now you can spend your time freely after school. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. What? Ah, I, oh, okay. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Ah, uh, right, okay. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make sure, make use of the various facilities in the city. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay, so this isn't gonna be just as easy as I thought. Um, so I have an instant, I have an instant message. Okay, I'm a little bit stressed out just now. I never thought it would end up like this. I'll never forgive myself for obeying him. We're heading in today, right? Yeah. Hey. I am nervous. Our time limit is May the 2nd. Oh, that's ages away though. We're the 18th of April. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. Listen up. A treasure is a physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamashita's treasure is going to be. Oh god, so can I find this out before I go in? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say it has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. We just gotta find the treasure. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstance. I am stressed! I am so stressed. You can now discuss your current operation. Okay. Okay, so I can't buy anything when I'm in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's have a meeting. We're gonna get expelled if we don't steal his heart. It's do our day. Do our day. <laughs> we can't afford to waste time. I'm gonna avenge Shiho no matter what. Let's start our strategy meeting. I know we want to steal his heart, but we have no idea where it actually is. I guess we'll just have to explore some more until we manage to find it. Be extra careful about the guard shadows. Getting beat into a pulp is the last thing we need. We're not having much trouble fighting, so you probably don't even need to worry about that. Okay, that's enough for now. Really? I mean, there's no time like the present, right? Okay, let's go. So we might as well just let's do it. I have never played Persona before, so I don't even know what to expect. This is my first time doing this. But damn. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. <laughs> a code name? I'm Skull. He's Joker, and that's Mona. 
Judging by your costume. Cat lady. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? I'm gonna go... Is there no, like, female girls? <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Uh, cat girl. Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. Well, I liked it. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe Panther? Panther's pretty sweet. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more ferocious. She's a cougar. <gasps> oh! Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. You were a little bit distracted there, weren't you? <laughs> he totally has a crush on Anne. All right, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. Now? The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter friends who share your aesthetics, and discover your place in reality. Only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. Okay, so by discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call it the process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. Now then, let us try an actual persona fusion. Okay. Select the first persona you wish to fuse. Um. Does it matter? Like, I mean, I don't know the outcome. Before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidence? Personas are this, the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effect of your bonds on execution or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain a great power. Uh-huh. This bonus experience is called Arcana Burst. The higher the related... Okay. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. 
You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. Okay. Slime? I'm only level five though. Oh, it's cute! When fusing a new persona, you can select skills for it to inherit from the base persona. Oh my god, this game is like blowing my mind right now. So much to think about. Okay. By making use of this, you will be able to grant persona skills they normally could not obtain. But of course, there's no need to think on that now. For the time being, select whichever you want. Uh... Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um... Chance of inflicting shock. Let's go for... I'm gonna go for curse. Will it gain new power? I wonder. Um, I Girls, guess. Let us begin. Okay, yeah, there's a lot that I'm having to think about just now. I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. Bye, Arsene. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Agathion? I'm gonna be your new mask now. Use me, use me, use me. The Chariot Confident is awaking your persona's hidden power. Okay. Ooh, you got a new skill. Oh yeah. Okay, my brain is fried just now. Ah. Uh. How impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. This makes no sense at all. You better understand it at once. You'll end up dead if you don't master it. Okay, I know, but I'm learning, okay? I am learning. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many. Execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. <laughs> your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. Do I have any choice? Normally invisible to the naked eye. Oh, All right. cool. You can now earn more experience. Third eye. Oh. 
That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Um... Can we freeze time while I figure my shit out? Like, that would be nice. How fares your progress in our game? Uh, create new personas. Inmate. I mean, obviously I can. Are you can. finished? Um, yes. No slacking off! Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous, like, I don't know what to expect. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. Okay. We got this. We're gonna ruin someone's right. life. Because he ruined other people's. Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It'll make sense when you see it. You can now quick travel. Bring up the map with R1. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. So be sure to use it proactively. Okay. Um, right. It looks like we are ready to uh, head on in and experience the true persona. It's been a nice build up to this point, and now I have so much to think about, and I think I'm gonna do like a little bit of a refresher just now before we actually go into the palace and you know just figure our shit out basically so this has been a bit of a slow episode but it's all gonna kick off in the next one so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye <laughs>